What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so we're just in luck right now. The big surprise right here is that we're going to be doing a trade online. Luckily for us, or luckily for me, I do have the Alpha Zapfire copy right here with me on another 3DS. And uh, this is exactly what I've been wanting to do for, you know, the Omega Ruby walkthrough. Uh, while I was preparing for this whole thing, I was actually chain capturing a Pokemon in Alpha Zapphire. I can do it. I completed the game. I have a bunch of Pokemon. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and start trading this Pokemon right here. I know that it's kind of cheap or anything like that, but yes, I managed to capture myself a, uh, golden, a golden, uh, whatchamacallit, Magikarp right here. A shiny Magikarp. And, uh, funny thing is, I actually researched it on, uh, on YouTube on how to, how to, how to chain capture Pokemon right here. And, uh, it took me about Oh, I want to say like about 78 tries 78 tries to get this whole Pokemon to my uh, to my team right here now I could have waited for Another episode, but I couldn't wait. You know, I wanted Hydra right now now that I have uh, What was it now that I have the uh, the experience here and I can just train it up right while we're going right here So there it is guys. We traded for Hydra number two why are we calling it Hydra number two? Well, remember, Pokemon Crystal, Hydra number two. So stay tuned. I'm going to be going into the real screen right here. That way we can check out our newest Pokemon. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here. Hydra number two, shiny version. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this guy right here. So as you can see, it is a water type Pokemon. Its original trainer is not just me, but me and the other version right here. And uh, it's our very first shiny, probably our only shiny that we're probably going to find in quite some time. But as you can see, it has a rash nature, caught it during chain ba chain capturing. And uh, let's see, impetuous and silly. That is a fun word to say, impetuous. But it does have a rash nature, nature and all that stuff. But we're going to be having him on our team. Like I said, we're going to be switching around all, all our Pokemon and all that stuff too. So one big thing here too, guys, before I, I, I move on to anything. So let's go right here. If you guys want to locate me on the passerby and everything, my message is going to be very, very clear. I'm just going to show it to you guys one time. That way you guys know it's me. It's going to be right here. The message will be Gym Leader Draven. So if you guys happen to pass me by, I don't know, playing the game or something like that, go right ahead. Find me. Ask for, uh, ask for a trade or something like that. Um, other than that, my friend code will be right down below too. So uh, don't be afraid to, you know... Add me on the friend codes and stuff and see if we can battle or do something. I don't even know. So here we go. Oh, it looks like it looks as you though you have delivered your chit, uh, your chit good and proper. What the hell? Ah, but it reminds me. I have a message from President Stone saying he has another favor to ask. Gee, why not? It's about the Devon parts you recovered. Hmm. Seems as though they should go to some fellow called Stern at Slayport Shipyard. This old sea dog will see you there safely. Ways anchors. We're uh, we're for Slateport. Uh, well, let, yeah. Let's go right ahead. Slateport City, it is. Let's go, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. Man, this guy loves his bird Pokemon. He really does. Okay, so here we are, going straight forward to uh, Slateport City. But before we go into like the main stuff, we gotta battle some Pokemon. Look at that. Ahoy! We've made land to in Slaveport! I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stern and deliver those Devon parts. I guess so. Alrighty, so here we are in the uh, the beach area. And, uh, well, there goes, uh, what's his face? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to... Actually, we don't need to know what Pokemon are there. So we're just going to be checking out the map right there and uh, battling some Pokemon trainers. Actually, first and foremost, we haven't even used this Pokemon right here. But like I said, guys, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon here and there. They're, they don't have a permanent spot. Eventually, I'm going to show you guys some pretty uh, pretty cool teams. Bring back some old teams from the uh, Crystal version. Uh, from every single version that I've had right here. So here we go. Going up against Sailor Huey. And he's coming out with his uh, Machop. So let's go. Toxic Batman. And uh, the good thing for us is it actually learned Wing Attack at an early uh, at an early level. I think at level 14. And uh, well, that's actually gonna do us some good right here because we're going up against a fighting type Pokemon, and we could have used them too, but I felt a little more secured with uh, Gaia right here. So here we go, Wing Attack again. 
and that is how you do it. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And uh, welcome to level 16. Look at that. And everybody else getting levels. Of course, Yokozuna is going to be hoarding off some levels right there, too. So he's like, you're the best. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's move on right here and see what we got. There's going to be some people around here. Let's see if we can battle these people, right? You can have this. And we get ourselves a soft sand, which will actually increase the the uh, ground type capabilities and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Sand castle's taking a long time. Yeah. Okay, so we don't need to battle those guys. And uh, look, we're running towards the Wingles, scaring them off right there. And, uh, well, there's some people waiting for us right there. But before we go there, let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here. Yo, trainer, whether you're hot to try or cool to get not, chilly at my papa's spot. Wow, chill at my papa's spot. The seashore... Uh, wait, 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 I gotta read this again. I, I'm too quick to the trigger. Seashore house. May hot battles rage in hot sands. The place for hot trainers. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Bring it. Okay, so let's see. Well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. And let's see what he has to say. I'm the owner of the seashore house. You can call me Mr. C. What I love all, uh, what I love about all of this, or what I love about above all is a, to see a hot Pokemon battles. Let me see if your heart burns. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward your effort. Okay. Let's go ahead and battle the first person. Barn, barn, barn battles aren't uh, worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what's upping up the trainers and Pokemon. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead and start battling some people. Here we go. Beauty Joanna. And she wants to come out with her Goldeen. So here we go. Toxic Batman. Let's go. Okay. Let's use that wing attack, you know. See if we can actually beat this guy or this chick. But here she comes out with a horn attack. So let's go straight for a wing attack. Not effective. So we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon right now. All right. Let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. Okay, come on. Bring it. Just bring it. And uh, there's that flail attack that he wants to use, but it's not going to be that imp not, not that impressive. So let's go with a Mega Drain. Here we go. Say goodbye to Goldeen. I think this is the spot for Sage right here. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so there's more experience points, and uh, we beat her. Okay, so yeah. She thinks I'm fiery hot. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's continue on our adventure right here. We can sit and uh, talk to this guy. And he's like, if you're on the lookout for a battle at the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. Big buff Bagwell right here. Dwayne the Rock Johnson wants to battle in you. Oh, crud. Coming out with a tentacle. There's some balls right here. There's some bullshit. It's a bullshit. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon yet again. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Sage. Now, the the best part about this is that we don't have to switch battle with uh, with Guy or with Hydra number two because it has the experience chart. So in due time, we're going to evolve this Pokemon. Eh, we're just going to enjoy the ride right here. Now that we don't need to really like waste time in just switching out the battles right here. So here we go. Mega Drain. And uh, that re restores my my HP. But here comes another Acid Attack. Ah, oh, crud. I should probably call it an Ass Attack right here. So here we go. Mega Drain for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And there goes Tentacle. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, Gaia, number... Or Gaia. Gaia number one. And Hydra number two. Look at that. So he's coming. He's going to be coming out with a Machop here. So let's go right ahead and stri go straight with Gaia. See what Gaia can do right here. So there we go. Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Coming with Machop. And, uh, well... I'm sorry, Machop, but I'm going to have to destroy you with Gaia right here. So let's go right ahead and use Confusion Attack. Oh, yes. Look at that. There we go. No more Machop. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Machop. And, uh, well, let's see. Dwayne the Rock Johnson has been defeated. Stone Cold stunned his ass, and he sold it pretty well. Now I have to. Now I owe him beer. 
you guys don't know about that story, you should probably take a uh, take a look at that interview of, of uh, the story of the Stone Cold Stunner and The Rock. That's a funny, funny story. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Yokozuna right here, since it's now at level 17. And uh, talk to this guy. I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. I am not going to cry. I am a big boy with big boy pants. You are challenged by Tuber Simon, and he's coming with his Azurul. And oh my god. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going up against a uh, Azuro right here, and uh, let's go straight for the Force Palm. And remember, Force Palm can paralyze Pokemon right here. And uh, well, there comes that bubble attack. Now, have I ever told you guys about the time where I breeded a, uh, a what was it, Azumarill? Yeah, Azumarill. Yeah, I breeded Azumarill and then got a shiny Azurul. First time ever. I can, well, I will show you guys later on. It's in the Pokebank that I have right here, so... Eventually, I will show you guys. Actually, I have a buttload of Pokemon that I have on the in the Pokemon Bank that I will be showcasing later on. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and battle her. The burger I ordered is taking forever. It's making me totally crabby. Don't you mean totally crabby, Patty? Well, hello there. Delinquent Destiny wants to battle, and she's coming with Sable Eye, or Sable Eye for short. Now that's another Pokemon that, that, that amazed me too, that it can actually Mega Evolve. And uh, well, we have a, we have a very bad dis or we're, we have a disadvantage against this guy. So we're going to be switching it up right here. We're going to go with Sage of the Halo. And uh, let's see what happens. Going to go with the, uh, the Astonish attack right there. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Let's go with Mega Drain. And I, I didn't even realize that Sableye had a teeth. Like... Sharp teeth like that. Scary. And uh, look at that. Astonish. For the win. Not really. Now, let's see. It's Detect Attack right here. Okay. Alright. Okay. I can do this. Mega Drain. And I, I believe Sableye is both a ghost and dark type Pokemon? If it is, then god dang. And there you go. No more Sableye. And, uh, well, Sage of the Halo gets the level 21 and everybody else might be leveling up here soon Yokozuna grows to level 18 and uh, Hydra number 2 level 12 so we're getting closer and closer to the uh, Red Gyarados deal right there and uh, well let's go right ahead and uh, battle one more person right here see if he doesn't have any kind of like disadvantages hey 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 what's the deal are you after my snow cone no no wait do you have a snow cone can I have some and here we have Straight Thug Blair wanting to battle us with this Poochie Anna. All right, Poochie Anna, let's see what you're gonna do right here. But this Pokemon is uh, Yokozuna's levels are rising quickly. That's that's something that I'm very impressed about. And uh, yeah, more than likely, I might be using them a little bit more throughout this game right here. I hope so. I don't even know. But there you go. Defeated that guy. Talks of Batman grows to level 17 and it's learning Confused Ray. So let's go right ahead and uh, take away that Super Sonic right there. And uh, bam! Confused Ray taken away. And he's going to be coming out with a Carvana. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see. Now, you know what? Yokozuna's got this. The only thing we have to worry about is physically attacking it, which, you know, Yokozuna's pretty good at. And here comes that uh, Aqua Jet right there. Holy crud. So there we go. Rough skin. Kind of hurts us just a little bit, but Yokozuna can take it. Eat that, Carvana. Eat it. And uh, well, look at that. Street Thug Blair defeated. And he's asking, where did I come from? Okay, so we did that. And, uh, oh crud. Holy crud. Okay, so there we go. I thought it just... There we go. That that's the usual uh, lagging that it has right there. Okay, so first and foremost, let it. Uh, let's see. Hold on, just a sec. It's moving. Okay, so now after defeating everybody right here, you're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than pleased. As a thanks for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen uh, bottles of Sodi Pop. Alrighty, so that's a uh, that's a good deal right there. It's actually going to help us out, and uh, yeah, so that's it for this one right here. I think we still have like a trainer here or there that we can actually battle, so that's exactly what we're going to do. 
We're going to be switching out our Pokemon. And we're going to be going with Gaia. And uh, well, let's see what we can find right here. I think we could, Yeah, we can find an item right here. So there we go. We found ourselves a PP up. The Pokemon Viagra. And, uh, well, let's see. We are going to be battling a few trainers. And, uh... What else? Oh yeah, there's a double battle right there. I hope. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, screw it. Let's uh, go with the two, first two Pokemon that I had. Sage and Gaia right here. Come on. Look this way. Come on. It's not going to move. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. I'm thirsty. I should go to the soda... Or I should go for a soda pop at the seashore house. You should, but... He probably won't. He probably won't give you some. So here we go. Tuber Ricky would like to battle, and he's coming with his zigzag goon, the goon and stuff. And like, one thing that I really like about this game is the graphics in the background. Like, you can tell that there's a volcano right there, and that's freaking awesome. I mean, the progression of Pokemon games. Now, that that just like you know builds up the anticipation for me when I eventually I'll get to like Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, Eevee. Uh, Pokemon Sword and sh uh, Shield, you know, I can't wait to do that, too. And here we go. Another Surf Attack. Good God. And here we go with the Disarming Voice. There we go. It takes a lot of HP right there. So let's go with one more Disarming Voice. And uh, Crud nearly takes me out right there. Okay. So we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon right now because, uh, yeah, that flint, like, we just flinched. God damn Zigzagoon. He's looking at me all smug and everything. Ugh, God, and here comes that sand attack. Okay, so I know what your tactics are, and I don't like it. You asshole. Okay, so here we go. Force Bomb. Yeah, again, I'm not liking his tactics right now. And here we go. Force Bomb for the win. Suck it, Zigzagoon. Alrighty, and look at that. Everybody's gaining points. Nobody fainted. That's good. And I only get $56 for this shit. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon and see if we're going to be battling some more trainers right here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, actually, there's a potion right there. I bought myself some super potions this time because, yes, our Pokemon are growing big and strong. And uh, let's go with this guy. And uh, let's get the heck out of here. Oh wait, she doesn't want to battle. Little kids can dart around so quickly. You don't dare take your eyes off of them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine with my Pokemon, she, so he should be okay, but oh, whatever. Okay. I didn't even read that correctly. Again, yeah. Uh, what time is it that I'm actually doing this? It's actually one in the morning, guys, so you can tell how eh, slightly tired I am, but sometimes I don't function well early, early in the morning. That is called dedication right there, guys. Yeah, buddy. So, Gaia has just copied its keen eye. So, let's go right ahead and use a crud. Not a crud basket. It's a crud. And a uh, oh, crud. There we go. Disarming voice. There we go. It almost takes him out. So, let's go ahead and try one more disarming voice right here. And here comes that water gun attack. Come on. Come on, Gaia. There we go. And that is how you take care of a uh, Wingle right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And he's going to be coming out with the Machop. So let's just stay right here with uh, good old Gaia and see if it can actually grow to level 17. Let's go, Confusion Attack. Yes. Snap out of its Confusion. And Machop nearly faints, but here comes that Karate Chop. And uh, not super effective, but here we go. Confusion attack for the win. Suck it. There we go. Alrighty. And, uh, well, hello, level 17. Alrighty, my Pokemon's learning Magical Leaf. That is a very, very good move. A very uh, different move, and it will not miss. So let's go right ahead and take away that teleport technique. It doesn't really need it anymore really don't need it. And I, plus, I already have another Gaia, the one that's going to evolve into Gallade, so we're going to be okay. And then Yokozuna grows to level 19, and it's learning knockoff. So, let's see. 
Okay, you know what? I'm going to teach it over sand attack right here. Yokozuna, you are growing quickly. And I'm liking it. And uh, look at that. Hydra number two grows to level 13. This is awesome right here, guys. Pokemon are progressing really well. So let's go right ahead and take a look at uh, some other stuff right here. I think we are going to be battling one more person or two. Actually, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And he's going to be like, the water around these parts are clean, but my zigzag goon still picks up litter from, from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, we which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. And uh, this guy right here doesn't give us anything, but we got one more trainer to battle. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. You know what? Let's go. Let's go for the knockout kill right here, Sage of the Halo. Let's go ahead and battle this little girl right here. Doesn't the Beach Umbrella look like a giant flower? Kinda. Just a little bit. So here we go. Tuber Lola wants the battle and she's coming out with a cute little Azuril. You know, for the longest time I've been trying to figure out how to how to breed one and then, you know, playing Pokemon uh, Alpha Zapphire, I figured it out. You kind of need an item. You need to give it to a, uh, I guess, a Meryl or a Zuro, a Zumeril, and then breed it together and then bam, you get yourself a uh, Azuril right here. It's the same thing with the, you know, same thing with the Snorlax. Same concept and all that stuff, and there you go. Boom! No more Azuril, and not a lot of experience points right there, but still, it's a good battle. And uh, there we go. Okay, so we defeated that chick right there, and, uh, well, you know what? We're going to be taking this entrance right here, and uh, would you look at that? We're finally in Slateport City. So, what we're going to do right here is we're going to save all of this tourist attraction for the next episode, guys. We're going to just pause it right here. It's been a good one. I mean, uh, next episode, I will be taking a small tour of all of uh, Slateport City, battling the Team Magma members, meeting new people, and then uh, we'll see what happens along the way. So, thank you guys for watching. It is 1.30 in the morning right now. Uh, April 10th, so <laughs> again, I hope you guys like this episode. Sorry about the lagginess and all that stuff. And if you guys want to add me, um, add my friend code, again, it's right there down below. That way you can actually find me and, you know, battle me and whatnot. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>